Hello and welcome, I'm Dr. Barry. Today I wanna to talk to you about something that makes me very, very happy. Uh, a couple of patients ask me, which diet can I eat that would most help my anxiety or my depression? And I looked into this and also I've been using this diet in my clinic for a while and noticing also that a side effect of this diet is not only weight loss, but also improved anxiety and depression. And so I'm very happy to tell you that yes, there is a diet that you can eat that will help your anxiety and your depression and even other mental disorders as well. Uh, if this sounds like something that you or a loved one or a family member could really benefit from, please take a second and, and share this on your social media. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. Help me spread this message so that other people can benefit as well. Okay, so which diet will tend to help anxiety and depression the most out of all the different diets that are out there in the, in the world today? You may or may not know that I'm a big proponent of the ketogenic diet, and I've been using it for several years in my practice now, and I've had many, many patients have significant weight loss in an almost effortless way just by changing what they eat, not by cutting back on amounts, not by... Uh, being hungry all the time, but I, by eating it until they're full, but just eating the right stuff and eating at the right time of day. A lot of people think that the brain has to have sugar or glucose to burn in order to have energy. And that's part of the reason that for the last 40, 50 years, doctors have told people, oh, you should eat three meals a day with snacks in between because you want a steady supply of glucose to your brain so that you'll, you won't, it'll help your mood, it'll elevate your mood. But I've had multiple hundreds of patients who, whose depression or anxiety or other uh, mental disorders got worse when they were eating like that, okay? They'd be taking two and three and four different medicines for their anxiety and depression, and it's not getting better at all. It's staying the same, if not getting worse. But when I switched them over to this new diet, immediately, not only, and, and I wasn't even switching them to begin with for their, their mental issues. I was switching them to help them lose weight, to help their diabetes, to help their insulin resistance. But they all started coming back and saying, you know what? my anxiety's better. You know what? I'm not as depressed anymore. And the first few times I heard that, you always have to take things like that with a grain of salt as a doctor. But after I'd heard it a hundred times, then I go, hmm, maybe there's something to that. I'm going to look into that. Here's the thing. You know that when you eat gluten, it can inflame your gut and inflame other parts of your body. When you drink dairy, it can inflame your joints and inflame other parts of your body. Well, here's probably what's going on with all these people with anxiety and depression out there. The standard American diet, the SAD diet, right? The high grain, drink lots of skim milk, that diet probably inflames parts of your brain as well. So yeah, there you go. So I have been, I am now starting to recommend the ketogenic diet to my patients who suffer from crippling anxiety and depression, uh, the anxiety and depression so bad that they, they can't work or they can't take care of their family or take care of their own activities of daily living, and it's helping, okay? I'm not saying it's a miracle. I'm not saying that their, their anxiety or depression is completely gone, but I'm saying that it is better enough that they're able to come off one or two or even three different medications for their mood. Absolutely. It looks like that a ketogenic diet is anti-inflammatory for your gut, for your joints, for your skin, but also for your brain and your mind as well. And so I'm starting to recommend that and I'm seeing wonderful results in the patients who I initially put on a ketogenic diet for weight loss or to help with their type 2 diabetes. They are now less anxious or now less depressed. And that makes me very, very happy anytime I'm able to get two for the price of one like that. And I tell patients there's no extra charge for helping your depression. Okay, that's that's free. So the research shows in multiple studies, and sometimes the it's an actual accidental finding. They were actually studying something else, but then they were like, oh, and by the way, their anxiety or depression got better. But multiple studies show that mental issues like depression, anxiety, and even dementia, even schizophrenia, and definitely seizures can get better with a ketogenic diet. And for people who hate taking pills, and especially for people who hate taking a handful of pills, 
That's great news. You can actually improve your depression and anxiety by eating the proper diet. Doesn't that make you happy to hear that? Don't you think you've got friends and relatives who'd love to hear that, that bit of information right there? Please share this, okay? Now let's see what else we need to talk about. Oh, and so I've got this new little ketogenic diet guidebook that I, I made up that I created. It's about 15 pages. It's not very long, but it's just full of the foods that you should definitely eat that are keto friendly. And it also has some foods that you should not eat that are not keto friendly. And by, by going by this little free guidebook alone, you can begin to take charge of your health, take charge of your anxiety, take charge of your depression, and even other more worrisome uh, mental issues. You can begin to take charge of them and decrease the inflammation in your brain and in your mind by fixing your diet. I'm gonna put a link down below in the comments uh, with a link to the ketogenic guidebook, okay, that I, that I wrote, and you can get it for free. All you have to do is just go to the link, okay? That's below. If you enjoyed this and you think this was helpful, please take a second and hit the subscribe button right in there somewhere. And then also click the little bell. You see that bell? That means that every time I get a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first to know about it, okay? This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.